Hi, my name is Olga from the Oshawa Community Museum. The Oshawa General Stores were very busy during the holiday seasons. If people could afford to do so, they would buy gifts from the store. They would also stock up on items that they needed through the next weeks or months, like coffee, sugar, or molasses. If families had a small farm or limited livestock, they would also come to the general store to buy their Christmas dinner, which could be a goose or a smoked ham. Since the post offices were most often located in the general stores too, patrons could send Christmas cards or they could even have parcels sent out. The post office was even open for one hour from 9am to 10am on Christmas Day for people to pick up last minute cards. The first Christmas card was designed in 1843 by J.C. Horsley for his friend Sir Henry Cole. Mr. Cole wanted a specially designed greeting for his friends and family that would also save him the burden of having to write letters to everyone. In the 1870s, Christmas cards began to change. Manufacturers have started producing larger cards that were designed to fold. Trick cards were invented, which served the purpose of pulling a paper lever on the face of the card, which might subtract or add to the design. By the 1880s, Victorian Christmas cards started to have embellishments including lace, shells, velvet, and ribbons. By the second decade of the 20th century, Americans bought Christmas cards to give as a tasteful and inexpensive gift.